Now to a Fox 5 News alert. Authorities have announced a possible break in the high profile case of Gabby Petito. Searchers found a body Sunday in the Wyoming area near the young woman's last known whereabouts. The discovery comes amid a search for Petito's fiance Brian Laundry, who has not been seen since he returned home from Florida without her. Fox's Jonathan Sari has the latest on the investigation tonight. FBI agents stormed the Florida home of Gabby Petito's boyfriend this morning, one day after police say they found human remains matching Gabby's description. Brian Laundrie's parents were removed from the home as law enforcement executed a search warrant. And for the first time, authorities called the residents a crime scene. There's a lot of holes in this case, case right now that need to be looked at. And the FBI is going to uncover all that. 23-year-old Laundry returned home from a cross-country trip earlier this month without Gabby and then went missing last week. Northport police centered their search for Laundry on a nature reserve near his home. But today they shifted focus. A former FBI special agent says investigators could have obtained a search warrant early on. There was sufficient probable cause since he had her van in his driveway and had not reported her disappearance for 10 days. Yesterday, authorities discovered what they believe are Gabby's remains in Wyoming. A travel blogger may have given law enforcement a clue to Gabby's whereabouts after discovering she captured the couple's white Ford van on video last month. She shared that video with the FBI. Got my GoPro footage and lo and behold, Gabby's van was on there. Days before Gabby went missing, police responded to the couple's van after a witness says they saw them getting into a fight. Today, Fox News obtained the audio from that 911 call. We stopped. They ran up and down the sidewalk. He proceeded to hit her, hopped in the car, and they drove off. The county coroner's office says it will conduct an autopsy Tuesday to officially identify the remains. In Northport, Florida, Jonathan Seri, Fox 5 News.